Previously on Spirit of the Very well, I shall offer you a bargain. A what? If you would admit that the accused is guilty, right here, right now, I shall overlook your crime of abetting him, and you will not be subject to execution. Perhaps even for Dirk. Should you be willing to cooperate, will you abandon your defense of the accused and accept my generous offer? I don't take this deal, we'll be executed along with Dirk if he's found guilty. What should I do? If there's a game over or some kind of secret ending here, I want to see it. And now, back to the present. We'll be executed if we lose this trial. Poor Trucy will lose her father. And her bro. I feel bad for Athena, too. And besides, life is precious. It's not something you should gamble with. I want to see everything here. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. Still. Plus, this might make an even better cliffhanger. I made a promise. Yeah, promise, shmamas. And there's one more person I can't abandon in his time of need. Which leaves me with only one choice. Walk away! <laughs> He's not gonna do it, is he? Nice try, Garon. But it looks like you don't know what justice is made of. We won't kowtow to threats like that, Your Eminence. Did that so it didn't matter what I picked? <laughs> Mr. Wright, I'm sorry, but I can't back down now. I don't want to drag you into this, so... Don't worry, I'm with you, Apollo. To the bitter end, if need be. And while I can't say I'm used to it, this isn't exactly my first rodeo. <laughs> well, we know that. We were there. But if I'm found guilty, you'll get the death penalty, too! Even knowing that, you still want to defend me? I don't know what happened in the past, but it looks like everyone in this country considers lawyers to be liars, so I can understand if you don't believe me. But I still believe in you, and your innocence. So all I have to do is keep believing and find the truth. That's all there is to it. Keep on fighting, Apollo. You'll hear no objections from me. You nincompoops! You'll die if you lose this case. Why would you even entertain the notion of continuing? I believe the Dirk is innocent. That's why. It's not so hard to grasp. Besides, trials exist to give the truth a chance to get out into the open. You can't give up just because you're afraid of some punishment. Even if that punishment is death, does that not frighten you, Hornhead? Who wouldn't be scared? I mean, just thinking about it. Ugh. So you want to run away like I was supposed to do, but it makes me weak in the knees, to be honest. But as a lawyer, I have a duty to protect my client. I can't just abandon that. Now, you should think about what your own duties are. A duty you're willing to die for. And yet I... I... Duty, it's a heavy burden, all right. Raven looks like she's really struggling. Well, she's thinking about the... Mmm. She's thinking about this again. As Crown Princess, you're destined to rule this kingdom. That means there will be many things that you alone must determine. Didn't we just, like, hear this about... This X number of minutes ago? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, it's okay. Everybody needs a little reminder. Plus, like, in real life, when you're going through something like this that's really intense, you tend to replay things in your head. So it kind of makes sense, you know, that's probably what's in her head right now. But it's no surprise, considering the torrent of painful truths she's had to face. Oh, well, there's the hammer. Somebody want to say something here? Very well, then. I guess I'll speak up. I don't know, nobody else wants to say it. If the defense is prepared to face the death sentence under the DCA, then I see no reason not to continue with the proceedings. But I must admit, I see no grounds for doubting the accused's guilt. Unless the defense has further evidence that would indicate a different suspect. I just said it earlier. Do we have anything like that? Well, lawyer, do you have any new evidence you would care to present? Or shall I have the Executioner start his preparations? Should I have that headsman get his axe? It's like, why would they call him a headsman? Is that the whole point of his job, is just... Heads? 
If she thinks I can't do this, she's got another thing coming. But first, I have some serious thinking to do. I'd say that new evidence indicating a different suspect. Even if I say it does not exist and I'm wrong, it'll point me back to exists probably just like it did now. But I'm gonna go and say exists because I'm crazy. Of course I have some new evidence. We have a lot in there. Ho ho ho, do you now? How very interesting. <laughs> Why didn't she sound the least bit concerned? No, I can't let her get to me. So I have to keep pressing forward. Well, she already knows what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna present Nana's hat. Uh, do I have it in here? Do I have Nana's hat? Oh gosh, I don't. But don't I have the... It's an obvious statement. He said that the dog stole it. Of course, what does that have to do with her actually committing the murder? Well, I mean, it, it, it proves that she was there, though. And it still begs the question of where she got off to. Also, we have this. Although, I can't help but feel like it's way too soon. What else is there? There's the fingerprint on this thing, although I don't... Did we, we, did we ever find out whose fingerprint it was? Because... I don't think they would go to all the trouble to put a fingerprint there if it wasn't Dirk's. I mean, if it was Dirk's, it would just be like, well, whatever, of course his fingerprints are on it. But the fact that they're putting a fingerprint there means it's probably not his. But if that's the case, then whose would it be? I feel like almost anything here could eventually lead to an argument. He was stabbed in the back with a knife, and there's the gun thing, too. This new evidence, though. New evidence? Uh, <laughs> so by new, he means something that we haven't presented in the court yet, right? So it's probably not Albie's statement, because we already presented that, didn't we? So we presented it to prove that there was someone else in the courtyard. I don't know, though. Oh, channeling photo? I'm gonna try it. Put that away, it is way too soon for that right now. You could claim you would claim this evidence proved the existence of a different suspect. Wait, that wasn't the reaction I was expecting. Oh, uh, your evidence? Are you saying this piece of evidence doesn't do anything for you? It would appear to me that you chose that evidence at random. <laughs> well, I mean you're not entirely well, you are wrong, but. In the vain hope you would learn something from my reaction. Is that not correct? Gulp. Punch. <laughs> Your Majesty. For shame. Oh. Sorry. Time to rethink that one. Oh, I hope I was. I supposed to say no? Yeah, let me try does not exist here for a second. Such evidence does not exist. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Just as I thought. I was so hoping you'd present meaningless evidence and allow me to claim your head- Oh wait, that's right, you did. <laughs> but we just went back in time. Glad I didn't walk head first into that one then. <laughs> Except I did. So what now, Apollo? Well, unless we can prove that Nana killed Inga, this trial is over and so are we. Isn't there still a way to get the proof we need? Even without evidence? You know, a key means of obtaining testimony here in Karine. Yeah. Wait, are you actually suggesting we do that again? No, please, God. It certainly won't be easy, but it's worth a try. The thing is, who's gonna do it, though? Your Majesty, um, I, I hate to bring this up, but a crucial step in uncovering the truth behind this case has yet to be taken in this trial. But I'm positive that I can back up our claim with this one step. You mean you will be able to prove that Nana killed Justice Minister Inga? And just how do you propose to do that? With the help of a certain someone. You need help. From someone? Well, I can't imagine who it could be. Oh, well, I got two people in mind here. But I suppose I must ask. Whose help do you need to uncover the truth? I need Troopsy to come in here and do a magic trick. That's what I need. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Well, the first thing that came to my mind was Channel of Spirit. But... He can also be talking about getting Rafa to try the... 
divination seance again? But I feel like she just did that. Well, that was like an hour ago, well, in the case at this point. But, um... The only other option, I guess, would be get the queen to, tra to channel somebody, but I don't think she would do that. So we haven't seen Maya in so long. I just, I'm kind of hoping... Yeah, let's try it. Oh, you require help from that individual. Who is that, anyway? I don't actually know, Your Honor. It's No, what I'm saying is... Let's all come together on this one. <laughs> if we all think it through as a team, there's nothing we can't figure out. Okay, dude, you've smoked your last blunt for the day. We don't need to put our heads together and see how far you're reaching, defense. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> there's something we've yet to confirm about this case. And to do that, we'll need... Defense will refrain from such tongue wagging if he wishes to keep said tongue. Now then, who is it? The way they were talking there makes me think it's not Rafa. It's not Nayuda, is it? Well, what have we not figured out about the case yet? Like, motive? It's definitely motive. <laughs> Nana does- oh, oh man, what- okay, hang on a second now. Yeah, I'm gonna try Rafa first. Take that! But that is- me. I was gonna actually present Inga to say, like, because I was thinking we are gonna get Maya on here to channel him, but usually we would do this first, or this seems like the first step towards eventually channeling him. If indeed that's what's going on here, but seeing him in Maya's clothes, though, I don't know if I have the strength. Here in Karine, legal proceedings include the viewing of the victim's final moments, but that requires your benevolence's help, so do it right this time, please! <laughs> Such information is just as vital as any other piece of conclusive evidence. If you're right about this, Rafa's power should enable her to see the very moment Nana stabbed Inga. Well, it's gonna enable us to see the moment he died, not necessarily the moment she stabbed him. It'd be hard to watch your father's murder, but it's the only way to uncover the truth. And they were talking all about that stuff a minute ago, motivating her with the stuff about... You know, you're not afraid of death and all that. Your benevolence, we need you in your power. You need me? Oh. Wretched simpleton, do you not see what ensued in the previous attempt? You would only succeed in wasting more time, or is it your goal to make her collapse Objection. again? No. The princess said she was prepared earlier. Besides, it's her duty as royal priestess. I'd say it's all up to her now. Am I prepared? Prepared to fulfill my duty? Isn't the divination seance required at all trials anyway? If so, I imagine there'd be a problem with handing down a verdict without one. We're just buying time here, because... <laughs> normally, I think, like, if she couldn't do it, we would just say, okay, let's go do without it. And that's kind of what we did when she failed the first time. Under Karani's law, a seance must be conducted before a verdict can be rendered. Why does she suddenly not want her to do it? Oh, must you try my patience so? If I must dispense with that vexing law, then dispense with it I shall. Eh? As ruling sovereign of Karani, I proclaim the following. Oh, jeez. She's writing with her fingernail! That's nasty. <laughs> Henceforth, the divination seance shall be optional. Well, she has the power to do that. I guess she just did it. She just rewrote the law with a flourish of her hand. Ugh. What say you, Rafa? Mother, I... I do not wish for the trial to end like this. It is as the defense said, I must not neglect my duty simply because I'm afraid. I shall go through with it this time. I will conduct the sale once more. Good girl, good girl. Rafa, do not be fooled by his lawyerly guile, or I will play Guile's theme in your head for the next eight, nine years. Maybe ten. You are not prepared to witness your father's death. She wasn't prepared before, and you were pushing her to do it. Oh my god, you were weird. You were just weird. But Hornhead needs my help. 
Raven, did you not tell me earlier? Did you not tell me you were prepared? But despite your grandiose posturing, you collapsed in a most piteous fashion. <laughs> Even worse, you have erred in your insides of late. For has not the barbed when they're overturned them more than once? Stop it. You can't be trusted to keep your word, nor can you reveal the truth through your insight. Which you wanted her to do! You're such a hypocrite. Wow, dude. This sacred hall of justice has no need for such a worthless royal priestess. Dude! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, dude. This woman knows no end to... Ugh. Where's my coke? Or my RC? Did I not bring it in here? Hang on a second. Okay, I found it, and now I can feel the sweet trickles of sugar cascading down my esophagus. So whether you think me worthless... Er, sorry. That was the wrong voice. So mother, you think they worth Objection! No. Her benevolence says she can do it, doesn't she? So I don't see why you have to condemn her before she's even made the attempt. Oh! Oh my gosh. You're gonna play it like that, then? Jeez. Very well, horned devil. If you really are so bent on having a seance, I shall give my consent. But don't you dare stare at her hips while she's dancing. I saw you over there last time. However, should Rafa fail once more, I will just put her up for adoption. You two and the accused shall all be executed on the spot. <laughs> really? You're just gonna kill us all? <laughs> this is proving to be far more entertaining than I anticipated. <laughs> it is, but that doesn't make it right. Jeez. Well, lawyer, what's saying? Would you wager your life and call on Rafa to perform a divination seance? I know I should say yeah, because, like, first of all, the fact that we would trust her would, um, you know, push her to do it, but it would also give her confidence to know that we trust her. If we let her go home and rest, we're basically saying, hey, you know, go home, you can't do it. Let, have fun with your mom for the next four years until you get old enough to live on your own or whatever, so I'm gonna say call on her. Although I really, there was no reason for me to even argue that point. I don't think you're worthless, your benevolence, far from it in fact. If you say you can do it, then I believe in you. See, that's what she needs to hear. Hornhead, I do not understand. If I fail, you will be put to death. I know. I know you collapsed during your previous attempt. Yeah. Well, didn't need to be reminded of that, but okay. I can't even imagine how terrible it must have been for you. But despite that, you are willing to try again. I have faith in that conviction, in that courage. Music! Objection, I believe in you too. I wouldn't take stock in those words, your benevolence. Despite what your mother says, I don't think you've made any errors at all. In the trials I've been a part of here in Karain, I would have never proven my client's innocence without your seances. Because even though they didn't always reflect the absolute truth, the insight they provided served as vital leads to finding the truth. So there. Vital leads, my seances? So please, your benevolence, try to perform the divination seance one more time. Objection. Oh my god, shut up. Just go away. Rafa, stop this madness. It is for your own good. 
You are ill prepared to face your father's death. Go leave this sacred hall at once. She ain't gonna do it. We know her, she won't do it. No. What did you say? I said no, mother! For I'm the royal priestess of Karine. Yeah. I have no need for you now. Well, I have no need for you either. Even if you do not need me, mother. I'm sorry, I don't like moving my chair. Hornhead and this Hall of Justice do. He proved that to me by risking his own life. It's because of him that I now understand. The divination seance is my sacred duty. I must fulfill it, no matter the risk. Ah, uh, this voice is getting... <laughs> Sometimes I feel weird, like I'm sitting here. Your benevolence. No, don't, don't, don't kill the immersion here, Tim. Mother taught me that the divination seance was a mirror reflecting not but the truth. But I began to have my doubts after Barb had disproved the insights it offered. And now I don't even know who or what to trust anymore. Father, mother, even Nana, believed in them above all others. But I finally know now. I'm knowing what I can trust. Yourself. That's what you gotta do. The royal priestess must debate each seance with the presiding lord and prosecutor. Nope. <laughs> so that it can be interpreted properly. I don't know why I'm reading this in my normal voice, but uh, it's a flashback, so. That's how I believe trials here in Karan should function. Therefore, the Hall of Justice needs me. It is my power that leads trials toward the truth. That is my sacred duty, and I will never shirk from it again. Yeah. That right there, your benevolence, is the product of what you've learned in your struggle so far. The truth that you realize with your own strength. As my sacred duty, I must ensure, shut up, Toilet, that it is fulfilled. I must have the courage and resolve to see it through. Your Eminence, the Royal Priestess says she will conduct a divination seance. I see no grounds for you to forbid it. Unless, of course, you are worried that it might reveal something you find inconvenient. If that was true, she wouldn't have called for it the first time, though. Mother! I am done letting you have your way! Rafa, oh my god. You would actually rebel against me, your mother and queen. I'm sorry to wonder if you actually are my mom, to be tell you the truth. Though I'm scared to see my father's death. I must face my fear. That is what Hornhead has taught me here today. Rafa, barely knew you. I oh. am the royal priestess, Rafa Padma Kurain. And I am prepared to face my father's death! God damn. Your eminence. It seems the princess is more grown up than you thought. <laughs> Rafa, you're scaring me. Well then, let us proceed with the divination seance. The victim's final moments. This should be interesting. What Inga's memories are going to show us. Can't wait to see. Let's do it. Oh, Holy Mother, we hold this divination seance in your name. Let the eyes of everyone here be clear and our ears be unstopped. Oh, dance of devotion, guide the victim's soul to me so that we may receive their final memories in the Pool of Souls.
Oh boy, here it is. Oh, grapes, incense, sour. Footsteps. It's his own footsteps. Man's voice. Oh, this is a long one. <laughs> There's the pain. Oh, oh, wait. He's not dead yet. There's no face. Whoa! Explosion? Laughter? Whoa, there's a lot. What? Dude, there was a lot there. Oh, God. I knew there was going to be one of these. It's going to have a whole bunch of crap in it. Oh, what in the... Yeah. Oh, it's not going to be easy. A faceless being. Dirk had no face. What the heck? His face, it's just like... Picture of the founder. What, was he hallucinating or was he, just, was he just not able to focus on it or something? It's showing like what he saw, right, from his point of view. So, ugh. Yeah. Father, what was it? What was it you saw? Are we do understand that this was the last thing the victims saw. Oh, that right there was like, ugh. Yes, there could be no mistake. That was what my father himself witnessed. Oh, how very strange. You don't suppose. The Holy Mother possessed the accused and slew Minister Inga for planning a coup? Um, hang on. Well? Divine wrath of the Holy Mother. Holy Mother, we are ever grateful for your blessings. Oh, wow. Talking about a sharp left turn into the Twilight Zone. Oh, fuck me. You know, there's one thing in there that caught my attention. One thing? Or one thing. That's, that's juicy. Okay, so he was drinking. Where was the glass? There's so much going on here. Laughter. That laugh. Who does it belong to and why are they laughing? Who knows, though I suppose it could be Dirk after he slew my husband. Uh-huh. But that figure didn't even have a mouth. Oh, no. Ho, ho, ho. I think we're done here, lawyer. How so? You claimed the minister Ingo was stabbed in his private quarters, and feeling no pain, went to the tomb where he eventually fell dead. It did seem kind of sudden, didn't it? That was the other thing that bothered me. It's like, if it were to, you know. But this seance vision proves he was stabbed in the tomb, and felt great pain no less. Like, it wouldn't just come back that suddenly, you know, from the medicine wearing off or whatever, you know? Oh, that. Therefore, as I asserted all along... It was the accused who stabbed the minister in the tomb. Oh, everything just backfired big time. No, this is just the beginning, y'all. We got a lot to work with here. Wow, Garan has the devil's own luck, doesn't she? Can we watch that again? <laughs> now then, I shall give voice to the soul of the deceased. Listen well and heed these words. She's gonna go back to being, like, evil for a little bit here, probably. Oh, we're gonna have to contradict it, though. You know what that means. Time for nose-blowing.